welcome to programming knowledge so in this tutorial we will design the layout for login activity so for that first i'll open my register activity and i'll copy all the code and paste it in my login activity and over here i'll just remove a few things i'll remove this username and name edit text as i don't need them and i'll change the text from register to login the id from register to login and this text from already a user login to new to instagram register and then i'll change the id to register user okay now i'll go to my login activity and over there i'll create the variables as my data members i'll write private edit text email private edit text password and i'll also create a firebase auth variable so i'll write private firebase auth m auth and i'll also create a button then i'll create a text view private text view register user now i'll link these uh, data members to my xml components so for that in my on create method i'll write email is equal to find view by id r dot id dot email and for password password is equal to find view by id r dot id dot password for login i'll write login is equal to find view by id r dot id dot login and for register user i'll write find view by id r dot id dot register user and then i'll initialize my m auth variable so i'll write m auth is equal to firebase auth dot get instance now i'll add an on click listener to my register user text so i'll write register user dot set on click listener new on click listener and then over here i'll start an activity i'll write start activity new intent login activity dot this to register activity dot class and then i'll add a flag i'll write add flags clear task okay now i'll add an on click listener to my login button so for that i'll write login dot set on click listener new on click listener and over here i'll check if the all the edit texts have some value so for that i'll extract the values from the edit text so for that i'll write string text email is equal to email that is our edit text dot get text dot to string and then i'll write string text password is equal to password that is our edit text dot get text dot to string now i'll check if the they have some value so for that i'll write if text utils dot is empty text email or text utils dot is empty text password then i will display a toast telling m empty credentials else 
else i'll call a method called login user and to that i'll send my email and password now i'll create the method over here i'll create it in my login activity and i'll change this text password to only password and text email to only email and over here i'll write m auth dot sign in with email and password and the first parameter will be email and the second parameter will be password and i'll add an on complete listener so i'll check if my task is successful if task dot is successful then i'll just copy the code from my register activity so if the task is successful we display our toast and then start our main activity i'll do the same over here i'll paste it over here and i'll change this activity from register activity to login activity and over here also from register activity to login activity and if the task is not successful so for that i'll add an on failure listener so if the task has failed we'll display a toast with the actual error over here i'll write e dot get message okay so this code should work okay so it is having some error yes i forgot to give a semicolon over here okay so now let's try running this app so once the app has started running if i click on login and then i enter my email and password the same email that i have used to create an account earlier password is 1 2 3 4 5 six and then i if i click on login i am redirected to the main activity that means my login is successful and now that we have both register activity and login activity we don't want to login every time we build our app so for that i'll go to my start activity and over here i'll override my on start method and inside that i'll write an if condition if firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user is not equal to null then it will it should redirect directly to the main activity so for that i'll create an intent or i'll make it as an inline function i'll write start activity new intent start activity dot this comma main activity dot class and after this i'll add a finish okay so now if we run the app and the user is already logged in then we should directly be redirected to our main activity so let's check it okay so you can see as the app starts we are directly in our main activity so this is how we create the login page for a, for an application i hope everything was clear thank you